it's Velimir. I'm going to quickly show you how to set up Cloud Print on your Chromebooks. So whether it's a BYOD Chromebook or a managed Chromebook. I'm assuming you've already installed Mobility Print on a server or a computer that has access to your printers. If not, then follow this link. Um, this link will show you how to get up and running with Mobility Print. All right. So if you do open the admin interface of Mobility Print, um, first step is to click on Enable Cloud Print. Just confirm. I think that's going to take a few seconds to connect to our Cloud Print servers. All right. Then the next step is to create your first Cloud Print invite link. So this invite link is going to give users outside of your network permission to print to your printers. Um, so you're only going to be sending this link to the people that you want to allow to print. All right. I'm just going to call my invite link demo. This is not going to be visible by end users. Um, so you can call it anything. It's just to help you remember in the future if, let's say, you want to revoke access to printers for that group of users. All right. Now I'm going to select no expiration, both on the printing expiration date and the invite link expiration date. So the printing expiration date is quite useful if you only want to limit access to your printers for, let's say, a month. Um, to, to a group of users. Um, the invite link expiration date is essentially just um, saying how long that invite will be um, valid for. So for how long can people use that invite link to get up and running? All right, so I'm going to click on generate link, copy the clipboard. Now this is the link I'm going to be sending. So I'm just going to open it straight in my browser or if it's a Chromebook on a Chromebook. And I'm presented with a couple of steps to get up and running. So this is what the end user is going to see. So step number one is go to Chrome Web Store and install Mobility Print. So just click on that. Add to Chrome. Accept the permission. And then I'm redirected to a confirmation screen, essentially saying that I'm up and running to print. So now I can press Control P. And look for my printer with Mobility Print thanks to it. And that's it. All right, so let's say you've got many managed Chromebooks and you don't want to let users um, mess around with setting up printers, you can actually bulk deploy Mobility Print together with the invite link using G Suite's Admin Console. So in the Admin Console, just open Devices, Chrome, scroll down to Apps and Extensions, Then for the organizational unit you want to deploy Mobility Print to, um, just select them and then add from Chrome Web Store. Search for Papercut Mobility Print. Select, then change it from allow install, force install, and then you need to add your invite link in the policy for extensions. Uh, follow the link that I'm also putting in this video uh, to get to our help center page. Copy the example JSON from there. And then replace or copy copy this invite link again and replace this bit with your invite link and then press save. And that's it. Now you've deployed mobility print, including the cloud print invite link to all your users in that OU. You can actually confirm that by logging in with one of those users. 
go to Chrome colon forward slash forward slash policy and look for mobility print uh, with that policy value um, set to your cloud print invite link. Now, if you if you're running Fabricat MF, um, I recommend um, in a find me environment also to extend the period that your print jobs will be held. Um, so instead of the default of four hours, extending to a few days. So if a user is printing from home, they can then print and then like the next day, come into the office or school, swipe their badge and release their jobs. And that's it. Um, happy printing.